All right, man, can you freaking believe it's Friday already? Well, tomorrow's Friday. Um, showing you the spy here. Kind of a quiet inside day, but an amazing day in the chat room. So hopefully most of you watching this were there today. If you weren't, you missed a good one. Um, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, what are we watching for tomorrow? Let's go EDAP. This was on watch today as a gap play. Nice volume, nice gap up, but never did give any kind of a trigger and ended up closing a little bit above the middle of its range. So definitely on red to green or something like that, watch for tomorrow. This one's a little obscure, FRSX. Um, I don't know, about a week ago it hit two and this is all after this big run to almost three, right? Then you got this lower high to 230 and then another lower high to two. It did have news today. You can see a little bit of extra volume and it came very close to two again. There was a seller on the tape at two. So it's kind of interesting over two, but at the same time, it's kind of obscure. Um, feels like nobody's watching it. This apron, which had this huge move, APRN, uh, I'll give you the numbers here, uh, 819 to 1365, right? About what, seven or eight days ago? And then came down, it's kind of riding the 20 day, riding the eight day and curling up a bit now. My problem with it, and it's a tricky trader anyway, it was amazing on this day, gave us several good setups. But my problem with it since then, this one has a tendency to like have the bids just fall off. And also it seems to be running as a sympathy play to Beyond, Beyond Meat, right? I always say Beyond Meat sounds like the name of a lesbian roller hockey team or no, roller derby. Let's get that right, roller derby team. Anyway, um, so, I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. I know they added Beyond Meat to their menu. This is, you know, this is a meal delivery service, but I think the reason we had the squeeze back here um, was because it's a recent reverse split. Now, since I've uh, upgraded my computer because my other one got fried by lightning, um, I upgraded to the latest version of eSignal charts. And since doing that, it doesn't show me um, reverse splits on the charts anymore. So normally it would show it right here. If anyone, wants to email me and show me how to get reverse splits back on these charts or just splits period, which would probably cover reverse splits. Um, I would appreciate it. I cannot figure it out for the life of me. So anyway, APRN is interesting because you had this big volume spike and it's kind of starting to curl back up after resting for a few days. All right. Um, TCRR. I don't think I've ever traded this one before. A relatively new issue. Looks like it came public back in February. Um, and it's just been bleeding lower ever since, but big volume today and a fairly strong close. So we want to watch that one tomorrow. Um, FSLY, uh, another fairly new issue that had, if I switch to five minute candles, you can kind of see the volume that came in this afternoon and really ran it. So that caught my attention and I looked at the daily chart and said, hey, this one might uh, be ready to challenge all time highs. So anyway, it, it lands on my watch list. Um, NTGR. Nice breakout. We had this on Gap Watch. I never traded this once. Too busy trading beyond me, to be honest with you. Um, but that is a nice volume spike and a pretty strong close. So we want to watch that one. Speaking of BYND, let me slide this over. There's the daily, right? Let me slide this over and show you. And this is what I love about what we do and what we teach in our trading course, right? The whole crux of it is I hated taking a trade and being red right away, right? And then I, all these things pop in my brain. Do I average down so I can get a better average? What Do I take this loss? I don't want to lose $200 in three minutes, right? All these things and it, it made it so hard to learn to trade, right? So the whole crux of our course is, I don't want to say the whole crux, but a, a, a huge part of our course is learning to enter at the right point. And here's a great example today. Beyond me, I actually took screenshots from my um, trade station trading account. Right? Um, I liked this through 212. Whole number inflection point, the high of day was just above uh, as another potential catalyst, right? Um, I did a limit of 212. I got, these are my fills. I got filled at 211.93. The volume was coming in, got filled. And you can see, I mean, just, Within a few minutes, it's up to, you know, whatever. I, I, can't, I can't read that because I'm getting old, but uh, several dollar move in a few minutes. When you enter correctly, 
all the other trading problems go away. All you have to do is just scale out into strength, right? Did it again here. Beyond, I did a limit of 216, got filled right at 216. Look at that, right as it's breaking this flag, whole number of flexion point, high of day break above as another potential catalyst. Um, showing you five minute candle. So within 15 minutes, another, um, I don't know, four bucks in 15 minutes. And then my third entry in it was right there at 220, got fit, and that's my exact fill, 220. And you can see uh, pretty quickly up several dollars or a couple of dollars. Actually, as I'm babbling here, it's up at 2.31 in after hours. So this thing has been an amazing trader. Um, but there's an example of some of the stuff we do if you weren't there in chat today. You missed some really nice trades in BYND. Um, it, it's extended. Um, there's not a lot of chart to go on. It's hitting new all new, you know, it's hitting new all-time highs. Um, I think the reason this is running is because people are going in their brains, they're going, well, this is a fake meat company. The product sucks. I don't know if the product sucks. I've never tried it. I actually have some in my freezer. I just never broke down and tried it yet, right? Um, and the valuation is stupid. And, you know, people are saying all these things. And so they short it. And if it keeps climbing, they keep having to cover. And they do keep coming out with deals, you know, with with um, with with Blue Apron, with uh, today, what, Dunkin' Donuts and, and, and many other big names. And so this is just, there's no other way to put it. It's just in a short squeeze right now. So it goes back on watch for tomorrow. WWE, um, pretty strong close, pretty nice volume. We'll watch that for a red to green tomorrow. OTLK, I had it on watch today, no trades, and it's still just kind of sideways after this pop. Um, I don't love this one, but it goes on watch. I'm gonna need to see volume come in before I trade it. HOV is a home builder, and a pretty strong volume day and a pretty strong close. Um, I'm not putting PH, uh, no, 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 that's not it. Uh, let me think, let me think. MTH, Merit Meritage Homes. Um, not putting them on watch, but I'm just showing you, this is a home builder and that is a massive rip today. Uh, so one of the sympathy plays might be HOV and it's, you know, it's got room to run because it's pretty beaten up. So that's kind of the, the home builder that I've chosen as a possible sympathy to um, MTH. AGLE is really, really extended. That's a big day. Uh, you know, up into some kind of resistance. So I don't love this one. Um, pretty thin stock too, but I'm gonna watch it tomorrow because it was a really strong move. LCI was on bounce watch coming today, gave no setup. So it just goes on bounce watch again tomorrow. Um, lastly, NEPT, maybe feels a little early to put this on because you had a really nice move here. And now you're a few days lower. You know, I like stocks kind of in the middle of the buy zone, which is right in the middle of the blue and red line there. And it's not there yet, but sometimes a really strong stock goes down for a few days and then rips again. So that one goes on watch too. Um, teamwork's been fantastic. Let's keep it up. I'll see you all tomorrow in chat.